In 1984, Mercedes-Benz launched a new generation of mid-range sedans, internally called W124. The series had the difficult task of living up to a very successful predecessor. The new appearance shows the courage of the Mercedes-Benz brand, which always reinvents itself. Technically, the new sedan satisfies with a weight-reduced and aerodynamically optimized body. The sharply rounded rear deck goes back to research with wind channels. Form follows function. The sum of these efforts also serves to reduce fuel consumption. The engine range starts with mostly new developments. The selection includes several variations of a newly constructed six-cylinder fuel injection engine and an upgraded generation of diesel motors. Only the four-cylinder engines of types 200 and 230E are brought from the predecessor W123. The exclusive interior exhibits an atmosphere of cultivated elegance. An extensive choice of equipment extras serve the newly begun trend towards individualism. Another special detail being used for the first time is the panoramic windshield wiper with a broad wiping range. The new series also perform numerous crash tests. Sophisticated techniques optimize side impact and rollover stability of the passenger car. Additional protection is provided by deformation paths in front and rear. The W124 has always kept on top of its time. Already in 1985, it debuted a newly developed driving dynamic concept consisting of the automatically controlled locking differential or ASD for short, traction slip control, or ASR, and the automatic self-engaging four-wheel drive, Fiermatic. Still in the same year, the next technological milestone followed. The new standard equipment, including an emission control system with three-way catalytic converter, as an enhanced series provision, all models since 1988 have received an anti-lock brake system, among other things. In the course of the initiative, Diesel 89, the whole range of diesel motors was revamped, reducing the emissions 40% even then. The most conspicuous feature of the model since 1989 has been the lateral plastic panels of doors and fenders. A new top version has entered with Type 300 E24, provided with a four-valve six-cylinder engine. The 500 E, expensive at 140,000 marks, caused quite a stir in 1990. It is only recognizable by its charismatic front apron and broadened fenders. Die Spitze der Entwicklung. Mercedes 500 E. Der Inbegriff Andrehmomentstärke und Elastizität. Die 240 Kilowatt entsprechen wohl 326 PS Spitzenleistung. Doch beide verblassen neben der flach verlaufenden Drehmomentkurve mit dem beeindruckenden Gipfelwert von 480 Newtonmetern, die schon bei 3900 Umdrehungen pro Minute abgegeben wird. Der Sportler im Frack. Mercedes 500e. The E500 rolled off the production line 10,479 times at Porsche in Zuffenhausen. The emphasis in the model upgrade of 1992 lay in motorization and equipment. So besides other things, the whole model range was reconfigured with four valves. At the same time, a new type was released, the 400E, with a 278 horsepower V8 engine. From the outside, it can only be differentiated from its weaker brothers by the type sign.
The designation change in 1993 introduced new type names. Series 124 was officially renamed E-Class. This last variant is identifiable by its new radiator grille. Now the star sat on the hood. Other highlights were the new 2.5 and 3 liter diesel motors, as World Novelty provided with four valve technique. Almost no other series is sold so long successfully as number 124. No wonder that beside the independent T model, three more body variants entered series production. Two new coupe models enhanced the range from 1987 on. Three years later, a sedan with longer wheelbase was added. Types 250D long and 260D long have six doors and a full-size middle seat bench. In 1991, the body quartet was completed with the 300 CE24 Cabriolet, the first four-seated Mercedes Cabriolet after exactly 20 years. In 1995, Mercedes-Benz finally sent the E-Class of Model Series 124 into retirement. The impressive total production sum of 2.7 million units proves the success of the solid 124, which in its time was counted among the best automobiles in the world.